everybody and welcome to Northern Land Tries Lit. Bend the light. Is this what kids mean when they say it's lit, fam? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, this comes out on Steam in like five days. So anytime we get the chance, this is a code that was provided by the developers, by the way. So thank you for that. Anytime we get a chance to check out a game that early, I like to say, if you like what you see, go to the Steam page located in the video description. Add it to your wish list so you can be notified of when it actually comes out and be reminded like, hey, oh, that cool game I watched a few days ago is now out on Steam. It's one of the things that allows us to have these relationships with developers, get codes early and stuff like that. So I would appreciate it if you uh, enjoy it, that you did that. Apart from that, this is a Bend the Light puzzle game, which I have now alt tabbed into so you can see the majestic Room Escape style puzzle. The gears are turning much in the way that my the gears in my brain will turn. Once we make it through this. Um, it, I will say, on the Steam store page, it does say, Feel your brain grow. And all of that within the beautiful and mysterious world of Lit. Feel like a renaissance engineer. Build your own solutions to light puzzles and feel your brain grow. I do love to feel my brain grow. Much like I have felt my brain grow sometimes in the past when I've played a game whose interface resembles this. But anyway, they are both made in Unity. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's go intuitive. I'm an intuitive sort of guy. So we got to get this light beam to the end. How do we do that? It's a great question. Um, well, I guess step one would be, let's just wheel this son of a gun down here. And then pivot the beam. And look at that. I can feel my brain growing already. <laughs> I'm sure right now... One of one solutions, so it would take me to the next level. Right now, this looks like... When you, when you watch the animation of this thing unfurling, you're like, why is it taking so long? I'm sure in uh, some of these tougher levels, when it finally unfurls, I'm going to be like, oh my god, thank the lord it finally happened. Look at this, okay. Acceptable, an acceptable performance. One of two solutions. You know what? Hit me with a repeat, then. I'm assuming the other solution involves just bouncing it off of, like, this one? Maybe? I'm Ron Burgundy? I will admit, by the way, one of the reasons I looked to this game when the code came in the inbox is that I do play a lot of puzzle games Let's go! Maybe no, that's the way we did it last time, wasn't it? Um, I do play a lot of puzzle games, but a lot of those puzzle games... Sweet. Um, are so devilish that I embarrass myself. I look like a fool. This one looked a little bit more my speed, to be honest. So here... Let, let's see if I regret those words eventually. I think one way would just be... Oh, change selection. We can change the mirrors. We absolutely can change the mirrors. Okay. You got, Oh, you're telling me. You're telling me. I mean, this almost has it already. I think you just move this one down. And then adjust your own placement. You know how I was saying it's a little bit more my speed? <laughs> I'm immediately like, I'm a fool. Shouldn't this just work? Not quite. Okay, hold on. I'm also thinking, wait a minute, if I just take it all the way over to the edge... Not even close. Now, I have taken 11th grade physics. I know what you're gonna ask. NL, have you taken 11th grade physics? Of course I've taken 11th grade physics. Don't be... Don't be rude. However, it was in the year, like, 2004. So it was a long time ago. But I know angle of incidence equals angle of reflection. That's, that's the, you know, the very basics of, uh... Of optics, you know? So here's what I'm thinking. Let's try to get, I was just gonna say, a 90 degree angle of incidence for a 90 degree angle of reflection. Well, you know what? 101 solution sounds perfect to me right there. I'm a little embarrassed by the amount of time it took. That's okay. What about these? Oh, they bend light. Okay, so this is a little bit more uh, spicy for sure. So I think that we want to get it to bend between these two. Yeah, and then shoot back. Hmm. 
Let me think about this for a second. What if we just shot it off the mirror at the back instead, and then bent this son of a gun to the mirror at the top into the refraction lens? Okay, I think it's got to be... Maybe we can shoot it a little bit higher to make this happen a little bit more easily. I actually think I'm wrong. I think we want to shoot it a little closer to the midpoint. If they don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. If you ever need to arbitrarily bend a single beam of light, I gotta tell you, I'm your dude. I can feel my brain growing. It's just that simple. Um, okay, this is just one big, like, refractory area here. We got like a double slit experiment sort of thing. Yeah, I'm full of optics jokes. You, like, it's it's stunning to me that you would think I don't have optics jokes. I probably have the most optics jokes of anyone I know. What if you just beam it like right in here? Oh, it's so close. Might be one of the greatest gamers of all time. You're going to say that was just pure luck? That was just happenstance? That was just you brute-forcing a solution from a position where you didn't really understand what was happening? You would be absolutely correct. And you know what I say? It's better to be lucky than good. Okay, now it looks like we got a lot of moving parts. We got a lot of creativity. You can rotate this. Okay, you know what? That's very good to know. I didn't know we could rotate it all the way around. Which is actually valuable for sure. Because I was looking at this and I was like, how are we going to get this to work? Like, I think we want to go... Well, reverse engineer it. It's going to bounce off of this, which we can't move. And it's going to hit this. To bounce off of this, this one needs to be like this. This one, I think... We want to slightly point down there. Now, to get something up there... This is a good question, okay? I had. To, now we're going to forward engineer it. From this point, we're going to forward engineer it. I actually think we just move this out of the way for now. Then tilt this. We're going to do a little brute force style situation. Tilt this downwards. Tilt this upwards. Oh, baby. Are you as impressed with this as I am? Or am, are you like, this is baby's first puzzle? Or are you like, the man's brain is working like, to the extreme right now? Because I feel like a, a genius. I got me feeling like a rock star. I know all the popular songs these days. And by these days, I mean from six years ago. <laughs> okay, mouse wheel for slow rotation. If you watch GeoGuessr, you know my mouse wheel is not uh, in the healthiest place it's ever been. Um, so we'll, we'll just we'll have to be a little bit more finicky with that. Now I'm realizing, by the way, we're still in the tutorial. I'm no longer um, as impressed with myself as I used to be. There you go. I, you, you like the slow movement? Okay. Um, so I think you just want to... Send this. Right there. Okay, I think that's fine. And then that one will eventually send this down. And then we'll just send it out here. I think this is going to work, dude. I mean, I'm not saying I'm any kind of genius that you've never seen before. I'm not saying I'm the world's greatest. All I'm saying is... It says the French say... Competent. It's a little Home Alone reference for you. Um, okay. Well, I mean, one way that I would think about this is wheel this here and see if you can just get... We can't rotate this one. We can only move it up and down. So I don't think we'll be getting ourselves the kind of angle we'd be looking for there. So I think instead we want to send this downwards. And we want to try to deflect it through the middle... It, in this case, by the way, is the beam of light. Hmm. This is not right. Obviously. Uh, we could go over top. That seems way more sensible. Now that I think about it. But then you could... I mean, if you only... 
And it looks like you do. That's the only way you deflect. You're definitely not our first target then. It's got to go like this instead. How am I going to... Now I'm immediately like the first real puzzle. I'm like... I'm screwed. <laughs> no, 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 no. That makes perfect sense. We actually just set it up symmetrically like it looks on the on the other side. You know what? I, I'm, I'm very charmed by this game right now. It feels like... Uh, and I, I use this a lot, and I hope it doesn't come across as a criticism, because I mean it very much as a compliment. It feels like a 2012 indie game. A game that has one core idea, is relatively... Um, small in scope and then it just iterates on that idea over and over you know those are the kind of games that uh you know got me started on youtube really where i would uh you know it was like it's a puzzle platformer but it uses liquid instead of you know blocks it's uh a game that's very easy to understand at first uh glance but it does very interesting things with that idea over time so i'm i'm very much interested in uh in, in games like this and what we got going on here. So I actually think... Believe, oh. That's one way to think about it. What if we just send it through there? I have an idea. Okay, work with me on this one. We send it up through the center and bend the light down so it hits this. Then we send this straight down through the gap. Then we send this across through this gap and we use we gotta we gotta use slow on this one I think come on come on come on this is you're really seeing my my mouse wheel on its last legs here there you go and then bend it up through the diagonal my word the man's a genius. Send it up here. And then you can't really see the exit. It's covered by my head. But you're going to see it in a second. You're going to see it in a second, dude. Look at that. Previously, the first time I looked at that screen, I was like, this is where the video is going to end. Because I'm not going to be able to solve this. Excuse me, I, I just feel the need to let you know. I got an achievement there called Master of Inefficiency. So for all of the <laughs> humor, all of the good humor and bravado I've brought to this, they have the audacity to mock me. Well, little did you know, I was trying to do it in the least efficient way possible. I definitely did not think that I'm some kind of super genius at this game that just figured it out on the first try. What do you take me for? Are you crazy? I just walked over here. How do you feel about that? How's that for inefficiency? I'll just bounce one beam of light straight to the exit. Where's my achievement, Master of Efficiency? Doesn't exist, huh? Okay, I'm a little scared about this one, honestly. Okay, so we can deflect it off the circle. What if we just... Oh, what if we, what if we just... Oh. Okay. Here's, I mean, I'm thinking the obvious, okay? Obviously, you're going to bounce it off of this and touch the mirror. And then this mirror is going to bounce it again to touch this mirror. And we're going to create a, a beautiful looking sort of like mandala here. Um, we do have a problem, though. How? Because this, this one doesn't adjust. So I think I need to get it to you at a, at a more acute angle. Just give it a sec. Just give it, it... Rome wasn't built in a day, brother. Rome wasn't built in a day. I think we want to send it. Yeah, yeah. Give, give me more bounces. No! Give me a later bounce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm thinking, you know, maybe we can actually skip a... Uh, a single one of these. Maybe not, though. Now, you know what would be a great idea for a puzzle game? It's this mixed with Dead by Daylight. So the whole time you're trying to solve this, there's also like... You you hear your heart beating faster and faster and there's like a... Uh, you know, some kind of terrible monster chasing you. So instead of having all the time in the world so that you can come up with uh, reasonable considered solutions, 
you were just, you know, the puzzle maintained the same level of difficulty or even got a little bit easier. But if you didn't solve it in like, um, you know, a minute or two, um, Freddy Krueger comes in and chops you up in a little pieces. By the way, I'm here all week. In case you, you want other visionary uh, game advice of this ilk, please just... Uh, I'm available for consulting. Liz look at that. It's the sun. I understand now. It's a metaphor, sweetheart. Look it up. But really, like, uh, pulling the veil back again. I am... I, I'm charmed by the game. Uh, I, I really... Uh, I kind of lament that, you know... Over the years, can we rotate these? We can lower. That's about it. Um, I, I lament that, you know, like the indie scene. Look, this might strike you as like a weird statement to make. Um, the indie scene now is a lot better than it was like eight or nine years ago. Now... You probably are very familiar with a lot of those games from like eight or nine years ago. But I'm telling you, the average game now is so much better uh, than it was back then. If you go back and play some of those games that we were really enamored with in like 2010 to 2012, uh, a lot of them are just like a simple idea executed well and almost seem a little bit quaint by today's modern standards. Um, but I lament that as time has gone on, we've kind of, you know, indie games have gotten either at one end extremely minimalistic which are games that i can get down with to be honest and on the other end like relatively quote unquote triple i so they uh you know are, are almost as ambitious as a triple a game which is totally fine but not you know I, I i have a soft spot for games like this that are like yeah here's what you do throughout the game and it gets increasingly difficult as time goes on and then it sort of ends so i i do uh Anytime I, I find myself stumbling upon a game that's a little bit more reasonable in scope in that sense, I am always like a little... I'm happy with myself, let's put it that way. This one though, I'm stuck. <laughs> Hold on. You Oh, you can move! This whole time, I'm like, you can move. Alright. Um, Alright, that was on purpose. Let's say that was on purpose. It was definitely not an accident. Um, and uh, definitely did not save me. I don't need saving. I do the saving. In uh, games like uh, Super Mario. Um, so this one. Certain element for me of just like, hey, line it up, you know? Although, I'm not sure about this one. Maybe, because this this doesn't move, but we move. Could we send it? What if we just sent it downwards first? And then rotated you? And then tried to just get it... I guess it's always going to be the same angle until we change the this angle right here. Hold on. How would that change things? I, I just... <laughs> I just want to ask myself how that would change things. There you go. Okay. So we want this to shoot out, but we kind of want... We must want it to get captured on, like, this side of it right here. It's the only thing I can really think of that makes any sense here. Maybe we just want... It. Yeah! There we go. So we're no longer, like, reflecting light. We're just deflecting light. But what the heck are we going to do here? <laughs> Oh, hold on. Now you can spin it, dude. Okay, and then same thing. Raise it. Spin it. And then you should... Oh, you know what? It's, it's coming through at a, at a bit of a bend here. There. Oh, you had it. You ever wonder if this is what it feels like to be a urologist? That's just me, huh? Um, what do you mean by that, NL? You know. Look at that. It, I gotta admit, the solutions look beautiful when they're completed as well. Like, it's just visually pleasing. One of one solutions. Look at that. I found the, I found the best way. 
I'm just waiting for when I have a level so genius, a solution so genius, that it says two of one solutions. That's my goal. I like to set a goal for every Northern Lion tries. My goal for this one, two of one solutions. So I don't know if we want to get the full... We probably do. Like, what are you doing with this? Oh, there's mirrors on the ceiling. It's like Prince's bedroom. Okay, hold up. Could we... No, 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 it's... It's a little... Oh, you know what? I, I know exactly what we gotta do. To you, then down here. We can't rotate you out. There's a little bit of, like, space uh, manipulation you gotta do here as well. And then we... We want to catch this and ring it around to that mirror on the top. Yeah, so that it hits down here. And then I think this strat is going to be tricky, to be honest. I think the strat's going to be a little tricky. Because I'm not sure. Maybe we can do it without that top left mirror. And we could just catch and send. I don't think we can catch and send. I don't think this is going to be a bend and snap sort of situation. Um, so then, could we send it up to the top mirror? Absolutely. And then rotate this in such a way that it could send it down. Which would pretty much have to be like... I mean, this is, is, is getting a little messy. That, this will never work, based on its positioning, I think. But it's always going to come off of that at like a 90 degree angle, huh? You know what? I'm looking at the architecture now. This needs to like be in here, I think. Or at least could be in there. <laughs> and then what if you just sent it straight up? Oh, just a little. Let's go! I'm I'm very impressed with myself, to be honest. You know what it is? It's a puzzle game. It might look easy. Easy might not be the word that I would use. Able to find the solutions through iteration would be the words that I would use. So hold on. I think I think I got this one. Believe it or not. We want to send it around. Yeah, because we're trying to curve the light like Angelina Jolie curves bullets in the movie Wanted. So how are we going to do that? I thought that would be enough. I thought it would be enough. I think... What if you do this? Hear me out. Take the long way home, like Super Tramp. And then just curve it. Just curve your enthusiasm. Well, you've done a bang-up job of sending the light back around where it started. What I would suggest is probably the way to go is to do this the exact opposite way. So send this one up as much as possible while still hitting this and then have this pull it down as much as possible and then this is also going to pull it down as much as possible hmm i think we might need to send this up a little less so that the deflection is Sorry, not the deflection. So the refraction is a little easier to manifest. Or hear me out here. Here's something I didn't consider. Oh, we, we actually can't. Okay. <laughs> I was like, maybe we could move them around positionally speaking. Oh, look at this. We're, we're getting big brain now. Send it. Send it up. I get down, I get up, I get down. 
It bends. Uh, it's, this is not the way forward here. Okay, hold on. Yeah, you didn't consider that, did you, dummy? You're absolutely right. Me, who was calling myself dumb, I didn't. I didn't consider that. This seems way more likely to work. He's done it! I actually wasn't sure it would work. I was just... I was faking it till I made it. I think we could try one more puzzle, but the fact that we're playing 25 minutes and 30 seconds into this is telling you that I'm having a great time. I think this is a... It's a very... Understandable, accessible, and enjoyable uh, puzzler so far. I'm having a good time. You can... This, this is like moving right here. That's no problem. Yeah, you know, the way that most people describe moving, no problem. They're not like, it sucked. They're like, oh, it wasn't really like a big deal at all. Um, okay, so this should work. But then we got to bend this. Just relax, okay? My God, he's done it. The man can't be stopped. I apologize for blocking some of the mirrors, by the way. Um, this is lit. Bend the light. It's a lot of fun. What you see is what you get. Here, that's more like it. I got an achievement called Novice Engineer. The first thing I would say is, hey, go check it out on Steam. We're playing this almost a week in advance of its release. I would encourage you, if you like what you saw, put it on your wish list. Just a way to send a message to the developer. Hey, I'm watching you. I'm interested in what you got going on. I want to see how this turns out. Um, I appreciate it. I did receive a code from the developer. Thank you for that as well. This comes out. Let me, let me all tab. This comes out on the 15th of May. So that is next Friday. There you go. Oh, the perfect game to get you through a uh, a spring weekend. Or maybe a spring afternoon, at least. Um, apart from that, I'm going to assume you enjoyed the video if you're still watching. We're 27 minutes in. If you've watched all 27 minutes and 3 seconds up to this point, I'm going to assume you liked it. If you did, click the like button. It's the single best way to send a message to YouTube. Hey, show this guy's content to more people. And to send a message to me. Hey, make more content like this. It's the number one thing you can do to help out the channel. It's completely free, of course. So if you enjoyed the episode, please click the like button. Either way, I hope you'll stick around. Subscribe if you want to see more new videos of games every single day, 9 a.m. Pacific time. New games every single day. Not too many other channels on YouTube giving you 365 days a year of brand new video game content. Most of them are like, I don't want to crap talk anybody, but here's the new build for Destiny that is the flavor of the month. We don't do that here. Either way, I'll be in the comments soaking up dopamine, and I'll see you next time. See ya!